Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Don Williams. We're actually very excited to show you the brand new 3D One. This is a hybrid compound and polish. Basically, all you need to do is change to the pad that you would like to use. You can either use a wool pad for heavy cutting. You can use it all the way down to the finest finish with 3D Spider Pad, for example. So we hope you enjoy the video, learn a lot, and get take time to check out and use 3D's all new 3D One hybrid compound and polish. First, we're going to take the spider pad. It's our heavy cutting spider pad, the K56SDP. And we're going to, like normal, we're going to take a brush. We're going to work it out, make sure that it's broken in a little bit so that we can open it up so it gets a little bit softer so we don't have sling going all over because it's a little bit stiffer pad. Then we're going to turn it all the way up, level six, which it claims to be 9,000 rotations or orbits per minute. We're going to take the new 400 3D One. Now, this is a compound polish in one product, not a necessarily one step. Now with a dual action polisher, it's a one step depending on the pad. But as you can see here, we have a lot of scratches. We're gonna go with our heavy compounding pad. In this first action with the 3D One, we're gonna use one product to rule them all. We're gonna show you the differences on different pads and show you how this one product can do everything you need, you need to do. You just have to just change the pad to get your either extra cut or your finish. Now we don't have to worry about conditioning this product. It's gonna condition throughout. Has great open time. We can take and spread it out a little bit if we want to. It's got a great, pleasant, nice coconut scent. It's gonna spread open nice and even. 3D1 does not have to be used with a, with a dual action polisher. It can be used with a force rotation polisher can be used as a rotary. Quite simply, it's a very versatile product. The slower you go, the more correction you're gonna get. This paint job has some pretty gnarly scratches in it. Now it's the same chemical that we had that we showed at the Mike Phillips Auto Geek Roadshow class. So one of the benefits of this product is that for those very difficult to cut clear coats, also for those softer ones, it'll be able to handle that too without over lacerating the surface. You can see this extreme amount of open time we've had with it. You don't see sling everywhere. Let's go ahead and wipe it down, see what we got. What you'll notice here is that it is extremely easy to wipe down. Now look at that. That is just with the cutting pad. Phenomenal. Phenomenal cosmic power. One little itty bitty bottle. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go and show you in stages how this works. I'm going to take and tape it off. So we're going to have to upgrade now and we're gonna go with a polish. We're gonna go with a polishing pad, a medium cut pad that will create a higher gloss and more perfection. But using the same product, now we're gonna take and use 3D1 with the K56 SLP, light purple polishing pad, spider pad. That's gonna give us a little more zing and it will pretty much look good according to most people. Will pretty much look done. But this one, we're gonna start here and we're gonna keep it at level six again. We're gonna take and blow this baby down. Now any of the towel scratches that we had left behind from the last little wipe down, we're gonna make sure we get rid of here. And we're gonna create brightness and get rid of any of the micro marring that could have been left behind from the dark purple cutting spider pad because we wanted to get rid of some of the heavy scratches that were here. Now mind you, this is all done with one product. All we've done is change the pads. Now we've taken, we've done a polish. We got rid of the micro marring. Okay, here we go. We're taking 400 3D1. We're gonna put it on the finishing pad. I'm gonna use a little bit more because this pad sponges a little bit more, holds a little more product into it. And here we go. Now make sure when you start these pads, you start in the middle of it. Don't start on the outside. Because otherwise, when you start on the outside, then you're gonna get product build up on the edge and you're gonna waste product. Always start in the middle and then move your way out to your edges. Get it done. Now we're gonna finish here with this. A nice, super high gloss and a lovely coconut scent while you do it. I'm gonna show you three levels of correction and all we did was change the pad. All right, so we're gonna take a can of prep all. This is a wax and grease remover used prior to painting the surface so you can have all the wax, any grease, anything like that would cause fish eye and paint. We use that to remove any type of uh, oily residue or anything on there. It's not necessary, just something to help give you a final inspection here to make sure you know that you got all that spider webbing that you see on the left side uh, removed, just like we have, you got true paint correction here. See here on the bottom, 
a little hazing from the heavy dark purple pad and then you move it all the way to the finishing pad you got a nice clean crisp finish it's giving you all the transparency and we're going to take and get a little more dramatic effect by turning off all the lights so you can see all that heavy duty spider webbing there and then that clean cut line on how clean how flawless this 3d1 gets you with any of our pads we appreciate you taking the time to check out 3D's latest, greatest, innovative car care product, the 3D1. It's a hybrid compound and polish. You'll be able to take and remove all those heavy scratches with the wool pad, or go ahead and finish it off with a finishing pad. Don't forget to subscribe to any of our channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Share with your friends so they too can keep up to speed and keep up to date with all 3D's latest, greatest, innovative car care products. Till next time, I'm Donald Williams. We'll see you then.